Welcome back to HGTV Handmade. I'm Jennifer from Sea Lemon. This week I received a mysterious box in the mail. I opened it up to find these plain white sneakers as part of HGTV Handmade's Mystery Box Challenge. The challenge is to decorate them using only craft supplies that I have at home. I have a lot of fabric paint, so I thought maybe painting something floral for spring but then I kept coming back to this idea of a pineapple. I may be late to the pineapple trend, but I've been seeing pineapples on a lot of things lately and I'm kind of obsessed with it right now, so I decided to decorate these with a fun and bright pineapple print. First I removed the laces and added some stuffing into the shoes so that I could easily paint on them and they wouldn't cave in. Then used painter's tape to tape off the rubber sole area that I didn't want painted. Then I used my magenta fabric paint to cover the entire shoe with a solid pink color. I also thought a mint color would work well with the pineapple, but I had this pink so I went with that. I wanted to keep the shoelace rivets white so to remove any excess paint spots I just used some nail polish remover and a q-tip. While I let these pink shoes dry, I moved on to making a pineapple stamp from a scrap piece of craft foam. I have some of this from my past tutorials and because it's so easy to make an impression on, I think it'll make a good stamp. I sketched out a rough pineapple, making the leaves on top, and overall it was about 2 inches in height. I could have painted on each pineapple on the shoes, but I was going for more of a printed fabric look, so I thought a stamp might help achieve this. Once I figured out my overall design, I then pushed in all of the lines with the pencil on the craft foam, forming grooves so that it will become a stamp and made a small tab on the outside so that I have something to hold while I'm stamping. Then cut it out, and here is my pineapple stamp. I thought it would be smart to test this out before I just go all out on the shoes. Since I want this to have a more printed look, I'm adding some contrast with some black paint. This is a test, so I'm just using my finger to apply the paint onto the back and make a solid shape. Then I'm adding the pineapple detail on top of that and did some test versions just to see how much pressure I needed to push on top of it to achieve the look I wanted. Then I moved on to stamping the actual shoes. I added the black solid shapes first and just continued to paint it on to the back and made an overall pineapple pattern on both shoes. I first thought it would be easier to apply the paint with my fingers, but I then realized this fabric paint is hard to wash off your hands, so I switched to a paintbrush. After both of the shoes have the solid shape, I then moved on to the other side of the pineapple, painted on the color, and stamped on the detail. I like the real contrasted, kind of rough, almost photocopied look, so I just used a little pressure on the stamp to achieve the look I wanted. After all that stamping, I let the shoes dry completely for at least four hours. Then removed all the stuffing, peeled off the tape, and added the shoelaces back in. I love how these turned out. I think they are such a fun shoe to wear for spring or summer, and maybe this will give you some ideas for pineapple decoration that you can add to your next project. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this challenge, and check out how the other ladies of HGTV Handmade decorated their mystery box sneakers. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next week.